Hi guys, I am doing a small haul video. So, um, the kids and I went to my favorite consignment store in the area on Saturday, which was small business Saturday, um, after Black Friday. Um, I had, what did I have to do? We had to go to Walmart for just a few small things on Saturday. Um, I have one more Christmas present left for my daughter. And we are done with Christmas. Thank God. Um, and that one, I am waiting for today, Cyber Monday, to order it. Or to see if it's on sale on Cyber Monday. If not, um, my daughter will get it after Christmas. She knows it'll be after Christmas. We've already discussed it with her. She's like, oh, well, as long as I get it. I'm like, okay. She doesn't even have a clue what it is. Um, but for Christmas, we got her an American Girl stable set because she's been asking for it. And it's just the smaller one. I really like the current. It's, it's a retired one. I really like the current one, but it's just too big for our room right now, or her room. So... Maybe when we get a bigger place, we can look into getting one of the bigger stables. But she's been asking for it, and she has one horse. She has a Clydesdale, and she's been asking for another horse. So that's I'm, I'm waiting for Cyber Monday for American Girl. If they have the horse in Cyber Monday, I will be getting that. If not, um, we haven't told the kids yet, but we plan to take them to Girl of the Year launch this year. So... Um, if we can't get it, if I can't get it on Cyber Monday, my husband and I are just like, you know what, if I'm going to pay full price, I might as well just forego paying for shipping and then pick it up in the store. Plus in store, I get the military discount, so it's a win-win in that situation. If I can get it, uh, like say for instance, they have a 50% off thing even when paying for shipping on Cyber Monday and it's included, I'll just go ahead and get it Cyber Monday. So anyways, that's the only thing I have left, but on Saturday we had to stop at Walmart because I forgot my husband's one great uncle. Um, and he's always easy to get for. He's an elderly man, and he loves those butter cookies that come out in those tins. If you're like me, Grandma always had a tin sitting around, and you'd get excited thinking it was these disgusting butter cookies, and it was always Grandma's sewing kit. So it's those butter cookies, and then um, he always we always get him just like a cheap Walmart, the like two fifty blankets, fleece blankets. He really likes those. He's a heavy smoker, so um, I've never been in his house. And my husband's uncle, who actually helps take care of him, he's a bachelor, and um, he had some stuff happen to him when he was younger, so he's not quite all there in the head. So he's a heavy smoker though, and I guess the blankets get nasty, so they basically only last a year no matter how much you spend on a blanket for him. And he always gets excited when he gets those, so that was something easy. But anyways, we, when we stopped there, I was just expecting, I had seen a post ship posted that um, if, you, if you shopped there, everything was 50% off yesterday. So I'm like, yeah, heck yeah, let's go, kids. So we went, and I got a little bit of a haul. Um, first off, I paid $1.50 for this. It's a super cute little Wubbinub. Um, It is an actual Wubbinub. It's a Soothy, I don't know if you can see it, Soothy brand. Somebody cut the Wubbinub tag off of it. Um, but I'm just going to throw it in the washer when I wash the stuff. And it's super cute. He's a little blue bear. Um, I thought this would be cute just as a prop for Sean. So I got the little bear. I know when I sit stuff down, you guys can't see because I have the chair too close. Um, then I got these I paid. That was $1.50. These I think I paid $0.50 cents for or a dollar. Oh, there's a little sock in it. Okay, then. There's one sock in there, so I guess I'll be tossing that. I got these super cute little booties. They're just pink. Um, they're my 
G G G P P. I'm not sure. In all honesty, it's probably some Chinese brand that gets sold on Amazon. Um, I have the same ones in a, I think, gray that I bought for Sean. It was either gray or blue. I bought for Sean at the consignment sale, and I found these pink ones, and I thought oh, these would be great for Macy. Um, it's getting colder out. You know, they're not going to match everything, but there's some nice, thick... Um, like warm weather booties so say for instance i want to do an outing with her this winter um i can put these on her they had a little jacket that would have been like six dollars it was jimbalry it was super 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 cute but um i ultimately passed so this is a little straggler sock that i found in the bag um i'm just gonna go ahead and toss it somebody must have uh, kicked baby booty off the sock looks clean at that, so that's really strange that there's just one single sock. Um, and then I got her, since both of my babies, I got them this year. I was also kind of there looking for um, Christmas, and I found something for Macy for Christmas. I didn't really find anything boy. Well, I did find some super cute boy stuff for Christmas, but it was all too small for Sean. So I didn't pick any Christmas up for him. But I did get this for Macy. It is made by Mud Pie. It is actually 9 to 12 months. But it looked, it looks like it could be a tunic. Um, I'm going to probably have to roll the sleeves on it. Because she's got short arms. Um, but it's this white. Macy will rock it as a dress. It's a red and white striped dress. And then it's got this super cute Santa big applique on it. So it's got Santa's white beard and some gray um, embroidery to outline his mustache. He's got this pink and red striped hat and a gigantic pink or red button for the, this hat. And then um, the brim of the hat is white with gold sparkles and then his face is in the middle of it. So I thought that was really cute and it's got these really pretty button details on both shoulders. I thought that was cute for Macy um, for Christmas. So she will have be rocking a Christmas dress. And guys, I saw this and I couldn't pick it up fast enough. I paid once again. Okay, so I paid $3 for that for Macy. And I paid $3 for this little outfit. And uh, I saw it, I grabbed it, and I ran up front with it. I'm like, okay. Because I had a pile of stuff um, already up front. So first off, here are the little pants. Now this is 6 to 12 months, so it'll be a little bit big for Sean. If you want to see what my excitement is on these, the little green pants. Kiki pants. A complete kiki pants outfit for $3. I looked around the store to see if there's any more kiki pants in any sizes. I did not see any more, and I kind of kicked myself because I honestly thought about going on Friday. But we didn't. And she said on Friday it was a madhouse. Like she goes, I have not been that busy in a long time. So here is the, the onesie that goes with it. It's a long sleeve onesie and those are some long pants. And this is a dark blue onesie with these cute little whales on it. And it's got a little green pocket that matches the pants. I was so excited. Um, like I said, I think the reason why I'm kicking myself about Friday is I have a feeling there was more kicky pants. And these, everything was half off on Friday and Saturday. She's closed on Sundays. And then tomorrow everything will be back for full price. Um, I also picked up this. I paid 50 cents for it. So I think I have a few of them in my eBay shop right now, but for some reason the Avent bottles are big sellers. People seem to really like these bottles. Um, so I picked up the Avent bottle and that'll be, I actually think I have, I might have a nipple already made for it. No, those are the old style Avents. That's an Avent. So I don't have any of the new style, but 
uh, I was excited to see that. A lot of people, like I said, like these ones for um, for their real care babies. So I do sell quite a bit of those. Um, I also picked up this lot. I think I paid $1.50 for this lot. Yeah, so it's $3 with this lot and the webinar. So this lot came with um, a Mam's small bottle, which once again, these ones are really good sellers in my um, store too. I currently only have one, so I'm happy to now have two added that I can add. So I'm going to be making up. I've got a pile of bottles over there already that I have to um, make, but now I have more. It's easier to get them all done at once. You just kind of uh, make an assembly line and go with it. Um, then I've got an older style 9-ounce um, Avent bottle. I haven't decided if I'm going to make this one into uh, one for the shop yet or not. I think I have one in there. And it's been there a while and it hasn't sold. And then there's this Tommy Tippy Sippy Cup, which um, I won't be using that one in the store. I have a few sippy cups that I did make into um, bottles for real cares. And the reason I did those is because they have handles on them. And I was thinking about there are a few people in the neonate real care community that have mobility issues. And so I was thinking for them having the handle on the cup, it would be easier for them to hold the handle just like it is for a younger child or um, they can slip kind of their hand around the handle instead of trying to hold the bottle. And then, guys, I only spent $6 for all these. I'm going to be keeping one of them for my collection. I need to wash them all because if some of them have got kind of a pink hue to them. But look, guys, I got a whole bunch of these um, Como Tomo bottles. Um, these are silicone bottles. So there is a bunch of these 8 ounce, I think they're 8 ounce, yep, yeah. 8 ounce bottles and I will be turning these into real care bottles. Um, I like these ones, they're like squishy, they're fun. I don't know why I like, it's just a stressy relief thing. Um, so there's this one. There's these ones, I think. So there's one, two, three, four. There's six of the eight ones. And like I said, they've kind of got this pinkish hue to them. So the only thing I can think of is somebody was giving their kid either Kool-Aid or... Like some kind of red juice, but red juice wouldn't leave that kind of like dye in it. So I'm going to try to run them through the dishwasher first. Um, if not, in all honesty, those might just end up going into my pile of stuff that goes to uh, the consignment sale. But I'm for sure going to be keeping one of these. These are the smaller 5 ounce ones which I've been wanting one of these for my collection for a while. So I might be making one of the five ounce ones in um, for my real care bottles and keeping one. And then those eight ounce ones I might actually put in to go to the consignment sale. I mean, I only paid $3 for all of them. I can probably sell all six of those for like 15 to 20 dollars somebody had just these single ones at the consignment sale that i constantly like even on half price day i looked at them because they were half price and even at half price they wanted eight dollars just for a single five ounce one so i may just end up taking the 10 ounce ones all six of them putting them together and just putting twenty dollars on it which means i will get sixty percent of that so that means i would get what fourteen dollars so i'm thinking i might end up doing that but i'm going to wash them first um so anyways guys i think that is all that i had in my haul ah, i'm going to move you guys down so hopefully 
So yeah, those two, that one bottle, that one Avent bottle, and the one um, Itami Tippy Sippy Cup, those are both going to get thrown in. I've got a lot of just random um, bottles and plates and stuff that were actually partially are were my kids. I might just throw them in with that stuff uh, that I had at the consignment sale. Nobody bought, so I posted it on Facebook. So I'm hoping to get it sold on Facebook. So I'm just going to throw some of that in with that. And maybe I can just list these on Facebook Marketplace by themselves after I get them washed. So that is my haul, guys. And I hope you guys have a great evening. I'll see you all later. Bye.